All right. Uh, what I want to suggest, um, uh, does anybody of the people who are present, uh, are you guys capable of channeling? Can you try channeling right now? Yes, Maxim. What do you wish to come forth? Um, I'm open. I'm open. Um, any friend would be good. Uh, I like extraterrestrials. Uh, I find it's easier to communicate with them. Positive extraterrestrials are welcome. Very well. Please ask us a question. Hello, please introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Ahakitini. Ahakitini. Ahakitini, yes. Welcome. Um, are you Eliran? Yes. Greetings to all that are attending. Oh, welcome. It's uh, so much honor to meet another Lira. It's I'm a honored. very high honor to be in your presence also. Are you anywhere close to Earth? No. Not at the time. Can you comment on uh, the I guess, I don't know, it, it would be appropriate for you to comment on our meeting with um, General Orokor. Could you, could you please repeat the last part of the sentence? I did not understand. We just met General Orokor yesterday, and it's a very exciting new development. Can you comment on that? Yes, but my comments are limited, for this is a classified aspect of communication, if you can understand that. Yes, of course, I, I understand that now. Yes. What do you wish to know specifically so I can tell you if I'm at will or not to answer? So Liran's a part of Gorkvitnir. Is it right that uh, sharp tooth reptilians are the fifth species uh, join, who has joined the uh, Gorkvitnir? Yes, that information is correct. Are they a full member? I cannot comment on that aspect at this time. I'm not at will. That's fine. Uh, do, let's talk about your personal. What's your excitement? What do you do? Yes, I am looking over aspects of planetary communication with Earth. Oh, wonderful. How do you do this? This is somewhat classified. But Fine. I can I can forward the understanding that this wow. ongoing communication is one aspect of what I do. Okay. So if you can understand channeling and activations are part of my responsibilities. Yes. Um, how old are you? Are you uh, relatively young or relatively old? I am what you could consider in Earth terms a middle-aged being. Uh-huh. And uh, are you male or female? Male. Oh, nice. Uh, we never met reptilian males yet. We only spoke to Takur and we love her very much. Yes. I think with Takur, are you physically meeting with her once in a while? Yes. And Takur wishes to express her great love for you and all that are attending and all that will see this communication for it is her great excitement to have part in what is being co-created between all of us at this moment. And Max, I have a very important message for you, if you wish to receive it. Yes, I do, and you know, speak, speak openly, no, don't worry about publication. Yeah, yes, I wish for you to understand that this communication has encoded frequencies so that your mind can understand that it needs to relax. Your mental composition in this current incarnation is being of some limitation for your mission right now. Do you understand this? 
it's hard to accept that understand the understand it mentally yes yes it is precisely what is occurring in this moment while you process the information from a mental aspect of yourself that brings resistance within you and interference in communications with other beings. Do you understand? Uh, I understand the message, but it's hard to accept it, yes. I accept your difficulty to accept. This is an aspect of yourself that if you wish to, you may choose to, as you would say in Earth terms, work on. Although it does not require work, it requires a shift in perspective only, a shift in belief systems only, a shift in what you hold as your image, your concept of yourself. This is close to your understanding, I believe. Yes. Very well. This transmission is finished. Do you wish to ask another question? Thank you. Uh, tell me about uh, your family life. If you have family right now, how did you grow up? Whatever is convenient to share. Yes. I have what you could consider a gregarious existence. There are members of what you could call a family. Although the structure is different from human understanding of the concept of family. I see. Um, how did you grow up? What's your, what's, what was your childhood? What, bring, what brought you here? Hmm. On my childhood, I can say that I had an interesting experience. Although there, was, there are some difficult aspects to our past, as you are aware, given our history, I would say that the process of developing and growing up, as you say, was very positive, very oriented towards a higher good and the sharing of love. This is the essence of our species, love. So this is the central aspect of what was my coming of age, if you would like. There was a second part to your question. Thank you. Um, I would now, now invite Sabrina to speak to you because she speaks a bit of Liran. Yes, that is correct. Sabrina, welcome. Hello. Hello. Um, Kwanakushi May, may I ask what density and dimension are you in? Yes, in fifth dimension. And do you does do you talk in terms of density? Yes, although for the purpose of this communication, my understanding would be that it would not be the best choice. Okay. Although, although I understand for your mental comprehension, this is important. So I wish to express that I honor your need for such information. At the same time, I wish to express that for your true self, if you would like those terms, they seem to be correct for your understanding that information is not necessary. You only need to access 
your heart. And this is also a, something I wish to express to all that are present and all that will receive this transmission. Focus on your heart, if you will. If you wish to be clear on who you truly are, remain aware that you have a head center, but your heart is the true seat of yourself. Your head is useful to process information that is relevant for three-dimensional terms. If you wish to access higher levels, if you wish to see them that way, your heart center, your chest, inside your chest is the true seat of who you are. Um, how do we distinguish between fear and, and true, true danger? Like, mm -hmm. how do we know the difference? Mm -hmm. It depends on the level of fear and danger that you wish to understand. I understand that an important part of your question has to do with three-dimensional, so I will answer to that level. Fear is chemistry. Fear is a reaction in your emotional bodily systems. However, this system has also been correctly described as an emotional guidance system. This is a very important part of its function. However, focusing on the aspect of how to deal with fear and how to distinguish it from true danger, as you worded it, one must understand that fear in the physical sense is deeply ingrained with your history in this incarnation, in this life, in this form. So if you wish to understand how to best, if you would like these words, deal with it and best move through it, it would be positive to hold in mind that your life is filled with trauma, is filled with difficult experiences, if you would like, for your body, for your form. Okay, I, I can be a little bit more specific. Yes. Um, I, was, yes. I, was, I was meditating and an entity came in. Yes. Um, I wasn't quite sure what it was and um, very, very, very high energy mm -hmm. um, and it made a roaring sound. Now, there was part of me that went into fear, but there yes. was a part of me that knew there was, that I was connected to my heart at that moment. Yes. So, I it was hard for me to distinguish if I was actually, if I actually had a reason to fear, or, or if, um, to that I that I was actually in danger, or if, or if it was just fear that I was feeling. Yes, thank you for sharing that e experience and that example. It is very useful to ground the abstract communication I was putting forward before. The two aspects, what I expressed and what you just expressed, match up perfectly. Okay. What you experienced, what you experienced was chemistry. Do you understand now what I said before about chemistry? It was yeah. your body reacting to that high frequency. Yes? Yes. Very good. Yeah, because I it I knew it was um, very, very strong energy. Yes, very high frequency. Very that high aspect frequency. was one of your, in linear terms again, please 
all of you understand that linear time is only a construct for 3D mind. So what I wish to express is that a higher aspect, if you would like, an earlier aspect, if you would like, but that aspect exists right now, established contact with you. That was just an integral part of your development, of your process. You are opening up, you are blossoming, so you are accessing these higher frequencies that are part of who you are. Okay. Thank you. You are most welcome. I feel you have another part of your question that has not been answered. Um, well, it would be nice to know who it was. But <laughs> <laughs> I... I can sense your mind wishing for a name, is that correct? Correct. That would help your mind to come into ease. Correct. Are you able, Sabrina, to understand that that is just one aspect of you? Yes, yes. That, I... needs, that needs to come to peace. That needs to understand that you are also a human mind, but Mostly, and essentially, you are much more than that. And again, I wish to remind you that the seat of your being is in your heart, is in every human being's heart. Nonetheless, I shall give you a name. The name okay. is Ikia Hukunwa. Ikia Hukunwa. Ikia huku. Ikia huku nua. That is your name. Thank that you. That Lyran aspect of yourself. Again, there are oh. many other aspects to yourself and oh, everyone that. self. Okay, so it was Lyran. Yes, the yes. Lyran aspect of you is being accessed for you are wishing it to be accessed, for you are allowing it to be accessed. Yes, I've, I've been speaking a lot more later in the last two days. Yes, the same thing has been happening to this conduit. It is part of the process. It is part of your agreement. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, aha, Kitani? Yes. Hi. Uh... I never experienced, uh, I'm sorry for interrupting, uh, okay, no. Nick, are you there? Nick just, just stepped away. Uh, I wanted to do, what I wanted to do was to have two channel beings to speak to each other through two human conduits, but Nick stepped away, so this didn't happen. Yes, this is correct, but not at the time. This will happen in due time. Your wish is duly noted. And we, it will happen when correct. Thank you. I sense you have another question. Is that true? Maxim, I was referring to you. I, you I, have another question. I, I sense I, you have another question. Uh, my question was, uh, Gurk Fitnir, uh, this do said, you know this do, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Uh, this do said that the reason, one of the reasons, major reasons for accepting the friendly reptilian species, which now we know is sharp tooth, into mm -hmm. Gurkhanir was their protection to protect them. Can you comment on that? I need to clarify my understanding of your question. My understanding is that you asked that sharp tooth join Gurkhanir so that. Gripfitnir would benefit from its protection, protection? Is this the, the correct format of your question? The other way around, sh that Sharptooth needs protection from Gripfitnir. That is not correct. I see. Sharptooth are very skillful warriors. However, their time of, let's say, misdemeanor given the structure of light and higher good, has passed, as has been 
communicated several times before, they are now in higher frequency understanding. They are with the light. They are here because they love human beings. As was communicated before by General, they are an aspect of who you are. And again, again, remind yourselves that you are much more than what you think you are. What you think you are is a construct created by your minds inside a cultural context, inside a life experience. So, I wish to express again that you must remember. To remember means to unite back with, to connect back with, to access again. And for that, it may be useful, if you wish to do so, to just allow it to happen. Not think about it, not push towards it, just allow it. Does that make sense, Maxime? Yes, thank you very much for your communication, and yes, it does make sense. It, you are most welcome. Nick is back. Yes. Do you wish the communication to happen now? Uh, Nick, would you like to channel, so we have at one uh, event two, two higher beings to communicate to each other through human channelers? I don't think that ever happened, that, that ever was recorded. Um, it's all Nick. right, I don't want to. Nick, only if you are at will. This is something that must come forth if you wish. Please check with yourself. Uh, it sounds really exciting. I'm getting mm -hmm. nervous for some reason, though. <laughs> yes, I feel, I feel this is not the right time. So, okay. Maxim, I wish to uh, gracefully decline All your right. request and say that another time will be more appropriate. And thank you, Nick, for being truthful to yourself and checking back with your body, with your information field. You must do this. Yes. You, must, you must discern what is for you and what is being pushed or pressed upon you. Does that make sense? Yes. So this is my final communication. And I wish to express great love. Thank you. Great, great tenderness for all of your hearts that are here today in this moment of your time and all that will come to this communication in what you perceive as the future. future. But still, it is just now, as you very well communicated, Nick. Now, 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 now. Farewell, goodbye, and remember to be in your heart. Thank you.